Hi there. In the previous video, we learnt what are uh, trigonometric ratios sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. Now in this video, we are going to study the relationships between these ratios. So let us first revise what we have learnt. So sine theta is our perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So let me learn. And now remember, if we look from theta's point of view, this will be a perpendicular side. So this is P and this is B. All right. Cos theta is P upon H. Tan theta is P upon B, perpendicular upon base. And uh, what we are left with? We are left with cosec of theta, cosec of this angle is hypotenuse over perpendicular h upon p sec theta is sec theta h upon b and cot theta as b upon p So now uh, we need to study what are the relationships between these angles, these uh, trigonometric ratios. Now see, we have let us consider sine first. So sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse P over H. And what is cosec? Cosec is hypotenuse over perpendicular, right? So we can write H upon P is one upon P upon H because we are taking the reciprocal of both sides. So this is the reciprocal of this clearly. Now what is H upon P? H upon P is cosec theta and 1 upon what is P upon H? P upon H is sin theta by definition. So we get one relationship that cosec theta is 1 upon sin theta. Now similarly, we can prove this for cos theta and sec theta. Let us try this. So we know that h upon b is the reciprocal of b upon h. So we can write it as 1 upon b upon h. Good enough. Now, what is h upon b? h upon b is sec theta sec theta and then 1 upon b upon h b upon h now is cos theta so cos theta so we can write that sec theta is 1 upon cos theta ok let me box these equations good now we are left with tan theta and cot theta so again B by P is the reciprocal of P by B. So we can write it as 1 upon P by B. And what is B by P? B by P is cot theta. So cot theta is equal to 1 upon P by B. 1 upon tan theta. So these are the three relationships. Now there is one more interesting relationship between sine, cos and tan. If you are keen enough, you might have noticed it already, but let me show you. Let me have all of this, hope you have noted this down. Okay. Now, see, we have P by H and we have B by H. Now, what if we divide these? Okay, so essentially, I mean, we are dividing these two. So, P by H into H upon B. We reciprocal this and multiply. So the hypotenuse cancels out, and we get P by 
B. So you can write this also as P by B. Now what is P by H? P by H is sine theta. So sine theta. What is B by H? B by H is cos theta. So upon cos theta. And what is P by B? P by B is tan theta. So we have arrived at an important conclusion that if we divide sine and cos, we get the tan of that angle. So this is an interesting relationship and you know sometimes when we uh, don't uh, want to calculate the hypotenuse and what we have given uh, what they have given the value of sine and cos we can easily e evaluate for tan theta and then we can evaluate for cot theta because we know another relationship that cot theta is 1 upon tan theta so let us now quickly do an example based on what we have just learned so now we have this question we need to find so it is given that find all the t ratios the trigonometric ratios for theta now i i want you to carefully understand this triangle this is a 3 4 5 triangle one of the classic triangles which they teach us while uh, teaching pythagoras theorem so if uh, we look from again we if we look from theta's point of view then which side will be the perpendicular side clearly the perpendicular will be this side and this has a measure of 4 centimeters. What will be the base? The base will be 3 centimeters and the hypotenuse will be 5 centimeters. So now we have all the three things which we wanted to and now we need to find all the trigonometric ratios. So sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse P over H so we get it as 4 upon 5 we need to solve for cos theta cos theta is base upon hypotenuse b over h so 3 by 5 now tan theta now tan theta is perpendicular upon base p upon b so p upon b we get it as 4 by 3. Notice the centimeters cancel out eventually. Okay, these are ratios. The ratios don't have any units. Now, another thing that we could have done that it is uh, using the property we just derived. Sine theta is uh, tan theta is sorry, tan theta is sine theta upon cos theta. So we get it. What is uh, sine theta? Sine theta is 4 by 5. And we divide it by 3 by 5. So into 5 by 3 and get the same result 4 by 3 now we need to solve for other 3 they are reciprocals ok so so cosec of theta so cosec of theta is 1 upon sin theta we had just derived it so what is sin theta sin theta is 4 by 5 therefore cosec theta will be 5 upon 4 similarly sec theta is 1 upon cos theta and see cos theta is 3 by 5 so 1 upon cos theta will be 5 upon 3 now we are left with cot theta okay and cot theta is 1 upon tan theta I have arrived at tan theta is 4 by 3. So cos theta will be 1 upon 4 upon 3 or 3 by 4. So okay, we have got sin theta, we have got cos theta, we got tan, cosec, sec, and cot. And you should you can check this on your own. Now we are done with um, a basic question of uh, this question required our learning and how could we remember uh, formulas regarding uh, all our t ratios formula formulae and the relationships between them you can solve you know so we have solved using relationships between cosec sine sec and cos and all the relationships between tan sine and cos now what you could have done is that you know cosec theta is 
hypotenuse over perpendicular and you will get the same result 5 by 4 now I encourage you to try it by your method any method of your choice once again like uh, you can you know use the direct formula of cosec theta or you can use these uh, relationships that we have used so in the next video we are going to solve another interesting question which requires a knowledge of a previous important concept thanks for watching and i hope it helps